Hello everyone, today I will be drawing an icon of Tumblr using Procreate. In a previous video, I drew a burger icon. I will be using the same drawing methods in this video. I will be introducing you to the handy symmetry tool in Procreate while demonstrating some drawing techniques. Alright, let's start. I'm going to be drawing on the 3000 x 3000 square canvas which I created. The brush I will use is called Monoline, which can be found in the folder called Calligraphy. As you can see, this brush produces lines with constant thickness throughout the stroke. There are some key settings that you have to configure when drawing symmetrically. From the canvas, Turn on the Join Guide and proceed to Edit Join Guide. You should then see four options at the bottom like these, so click the one at the very right that says Symmetry. You could adjust the color as well as the thickness of the line, so adjust them according to your preferences and tap Done after you are satisfied. Now the part here on the layer should say Assisting. Note that Symmetry Mode is only applied to this layer. Drawings made on one side will be automatically replicated to the opposite end. We will apply this function to our symmetrical Tumblr icon. When you want to draw a straight line, create the stroke with your Apple Pencil and hold it. Now, if you tap the end of the line, a perpendicular or horizontal line will be created. When you want to apply drawing assistance to other layers, repeat the steps I showed earlier during our canvas setup. Tap the layer in question and select Drawing Assistance, just like this. For the parts where lines may overlap, it's better to isolate them in different layers so that you could edit later. So remember to separate layers and draw. For the upper part of this Tumblr icon, I find it boring when it's perfectly symmetrical. So remove or uncheck the Join Assistance option from earlier and add lines individually. Once you're finished, we'll start coloring. Add a new layer on top while we'll be coloring. To prevent colors from running over to the other layers, we'll be turning on the Standards option. You can do so by tapping the top layer or the outline where you can find and switch on the standards option. Now choose whatever color you like and throw it into the layer underneath like this. The same goes with the sleeve part of the tumbler. To prevent colors from overrunning, tap it to set as standards and choose the color for the layer underneath and throw it in. For the tumbler color, I want to have it the same color as the burger last time. So we'll replicate the color by using the dropper tool. I'm going to add a layer at the very top and start drawing shadows. Just as we did earlier, use the monoline brush and start drawing as if we were to draw a straight line while tapping it.
Once you're done filling in the color for the shadows like so, switch the drawing mode for this shadow layer to multiply and it will look something like this, leaving impressions of shadows. Alas, I didn't like the lip part, so I'm going to turn on the drawing assistant mode again, erase it and add lines to finish. Alright, just like this, it's complete. When you want to export your drawing, remove the background first and export in pink from the share menu option. You could send it to someone by airdrop or save it to your camera roll. This is what it looks like after sending it to my iPhone. When drawing icons, I find exporting in paint with transparent background the best in general. It's easier to use it on your handouts for instance when the background is transparent. The burger icon looks like this. There is a sense of consistency when you have the same thickness and color of the lines for your icons. Alright, that's all for today. I drew an icon using Procreate. My Procreate videos are popular and I get many requests and comments saying can you draw this or can you draw that? So I plan on making more videos on my drawings with Procreate in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.